I'm Brian Hayes, the, the gameplay producer for Fight Night Round 4. Uh, for gameplay, um, stepping uh, forward from Fight Night Round 3 to Fight Night Round 4, we've really taken some big strides this year. Well, in Fight Night Round 3, you saw some things that were really unnaturally slow or sometimes things that were really unnaturally robotically fast. And we've really made a focus to try and deliver a fluid and natural sense of motion for the boxers in Fight Night Round 4. Everything from their head movement to their punch combinations to their movement around the ring, it's much more fluid, faster, and more responsive. Creating counterpunch opportunities is a little bit different as well. There's no more parry system where you can slap an opponent's hand out of the air and freeze them for a couple of seconds. You actually, again, have to use timing to either put your hands up at just the right moment or slip your head back down or to the side to make your opponent miss and then make them pay. In Fight Night Round 4, your punches target your opponent in a realistic manner. Previously in Round 3, if you were ducking in front of somebody, you'd still always throw your hook or your jabs or your straights over their head. It's like you couldn't see where they are. But in round four, if you're ducking in front of somebody, well, they're gonna punch you in the face. Their punches will target you where you're at. So moving your head and slipping punches requires timing and requires reflexes. It's much more realistic. Fight Night Round 4 has what we call the stun state. It's that moment where you get caught with a clean shot and your bell is really rung. So you'll find that you're kind of stumbling around, you're not able to block as well, you can't really move your head as well. You're in a really, really vulnerable state. And it's at a time where your opponent can really press the advantage. Previously, it only ever happened when you were about to go down, but now one clean shot can put you there. So then if you get knocked down, the next thing you gotta do is get up. And there's a brand new get up game in Fight Night Round 4. It involves getting yourself up off the canvas, like you're, you start off lying down on the canvas, you have to sort of straighten yourself up and then stand up, and the ref's gonna look at you and ask if you're okay. And if you are, you get to go out and finish the round. Another big change for Fight Night Round 4 is the between rounds minigame. In Fight Night Round 3, you had that experience where you had to rub your own face for 20 or 30 seconds, and then you had to watch the other guy rub his face for 20 or 30 seconds. It took a long time to get back in the ring and start punching each other in the face again. So we really wanted to sort of tighten that up, make a game that both users could play at the same time and play really quickly, but there's a lot of strategy involved. So based on your performance in the previous round, you earn points that your trainer can use to help you recover stamina, help recover health, or help you heal damage. And as the fight goes on, you get into later rounds, those decisions become very, very important. The new physics-based gameplay engine allows us to do a lot of things that just weren't possible in round three. And you're gonna see that really come to life in the ring.